Come on, together. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. We're out there. I can't go without you. In our last video, we took a long overnight flight from Vietnam to our 95th country of Norway. After nearly 24 hours of travel, we arrived in Oslo pretty sleepy, slightly delirious, <laughs> and a little confused about what we are going to do next. Oh, it's Ooh, yes. We are officially in Oslo, and our first stop is this coffee shop inside of the airport because it's 7 a.m. and we have no idea what we're doing. So I found this incredible place to stay on an island in the north of Norway, but you can't book it online, you have to send them an email. But we haven't heard back from them yet. So the plan was to fly in and then get on a train and then ride north today. But we don't want to ride north if we don't have anywhere to stay. So now we're just kind of stuck. We have a lot of options right now. We can put our bags in storage, we can rent a car, we can go ahead and book a train for tonight. I feel like this is the least prepared I've ever shown up in a country. We do know one thing for sure. We're gonna need some warmer clothes. All right, the hotel is booked in the city tonight and we're gonna spend the day at Sporting Oslo. Where is this train? Thank you. Ooh. $20. Found the chain. It's warm in here. So far, so good, Norway. Easy, nice, and expensive. This is pretty much exactly what I expected. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, true. All right, we have 20 minutes into the city center. I'm crossing the road and I'm not dodging motorbikes. I miss it. But this is really nice. <laughs> Where is everybody? It's Monday morning at 9.30 a.m. and the only people I see are tourists dragging suitcases around. I think I know why. <laughs> okay. It's Sunday morning. No, it's Monday. My phone says Sunday. I think we traveled <laughs> back in time coming from Asia. No, uh, I think so. it's Monday. What day did we leave? Do we leave on Saturday? Uh. That's how it looks like on the internet. Hopefully the inside's in better shape. <laughs> I guess this is what we get for booking an This hour is probably ago. why it was so cheap. I was like, wow, $100 in the city center with breakfast? What a deal. <laughs> I think you're delirious this morning. <laughs> Oh, wow, huge. Not bad. Hey, you can see out our window. Yay. I'm pretty impressed for $100 in the middle of Oslo. In my mind, this was the most expensive city in the world. I need some breakfast. I don't know what time my body thinks it is, but I'm hungry. All right, we put on all the warm clothes that we own. <laughs> Literally all of them. <laughs> and we are about to walk across town for what we've heard are the best Norwegian waffles in the world. Yay. <laughs> Not a big waffle eater. I have very so high are all about. unmeetable expectations for this place. <laughs> <laughs> What's the white stuff? Sour cream. Oh. Not sour, you know? <laughs> sour cream is not sour. Okay, so okay. she told me this was the classic. It's a Norwegian waffle, which is like a much thinner version of a waffle than the American waffles that I'm used to, with jam, sour cream, and brown cheese. Hold on. Okay, so brown cheese is like a very Norwegian thing. And according to this website, the water from the whey of goat's milk is boiled down, which caramelizes the sugar, resulting in a goop that is left to cool, and this brown peanut buttery substance is what you're left with. I'm just gonna go for it. My mouth is so confused right now. I'm just gonna try by itself. I cannot explain that taste. Whatever it is, combined on a waffle with jam and sour cream, it's delicious. Mmm. Good start to Norway. And their waffles are in the shape of a heart. 
we have the one that's aged. So Tia has seen our videos on YouTube and she's letting us sample some of the cheeses of like old Earth. Old people like this cheese. Old people like it. And you see the color as well. Oh, it's so pretty! It looks like fudge. No, but it's not. So this, this is the aged, aged goat cheese that she said the old people like. Yeah, that's <laughs> mm -hmm. bad. <laughs> Don't like that. You know, kind of gets worse as it sinks in. Like it almost kind of burns. Yeah. <laughs> it's just a bit sour. Like. It's almost good. I think if you shaved it on top of something, it could be okay. Like kind of how too much salt is a bad thing, but a little bit of salt can enhance. I feel like I'm trying to be positive. It's It was pretty bad. <laughs> but it is. It's so but I'm bad. glad I got to try it. I don't even like regular goat cheese. <laughs> oh, there it is. It's delayed, isn't it? Mmm. So in the moment, I couldn't think of the words to describe what that cheese tasted like. But I think the closest thing I could compare it to is if you took the black salty licorice that we tried in the Netherlands and then you rubbed it down the back of a dirty goat. That's exactly what it tasted like. I don't like that at all. I'm glad, I'm glad I'm not offending her. <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay, I have a question for you. Yeah. What should we do next? Next in Oslo, Viglavsparken. Uh, it's like a um, statue park, huge one. So it's Vigla, he's very known here in Norway. So definitely check that out. Will do! Let's go <laughs> to the park! This is probably the best system for paying for public transport that we've ever encountered in any country. Normally it's like, how do you buy the ticket? How long is it valid? Which zone are you in? Do you validate it when you get on? Do you validate it when you get off? It's just all really confusing. This one, you download the app, you put your credit card in, and it literally just counts down the time. So crazy. She's fading. Three cups of coffee are wearing off. I have no idea what time my body needs this, <laughs> but it feels tired and cold. We're almost there. According to the internet, this is the largest sculpture park in the world, all made by one artist. His name was Gustav Vigelin, and he devoted 25 years of his life to sculpting all of the art that you see here. And there are tons of people here. This is the most people that we've seen in all of Oslo put together. These sculptures are... Interesting. <laughs> but it is just so nice just being outside with this clean, crisp fall air. All the leaves are these beautiful fall colors. Just nice to be breathing fresh air. <laughs> it's really, really nice. I think our lungs are really enjoying this. Huh. Is he kicking his child? Last time we were in this part of the world, we partook in the local sauna tradition. Ah! We are about to sauna. <laughs> wow, more steam. <laughs> this one's much warmer. So when we learned that Oslo has a floating sauna, we booked two spots. I think it's normally private, but they have a couple public hours, which is what we booked. I don't know if it's like a clothing optional thing here in Norway. I'm not sure how much we're gonna be able to film. So we just spent 15 minutes baking ourselves in a little wooden box with 10 other half-dressed strangers. <laughs> and now it's time to jump in the harbor. You do it at first? No, you, first? you have to go first. No, you, you first. first, you first, you first. You got it, you got it. <laughs> you got it. Go, it's war you're warmer now. You'll just get colder if you wait. Okay, okay, okay. You ready? Oh my gosh, it's a jelly fish. I can't do it. There's no, no you have to, and it's cold. You have to, <laughs> to do it. You have to do it. Oh, I think don't... the wind is cold out there. 
Okay, okay. I'm, gonna, I'm doing it. Okay. Going all the way do it. <laughs> Did you jump on the chair? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, I feel better now that I'm out. The water is really, really cold. Okay, you have to go. You want to go round two? No. Round two, come on together. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Round two, I can't go without you. I can't go. One, two, three. <laughs> Oh, I can't believe you did that. Oh, I can't believe you did that twice. Ah. Ah. That's why we use the ladder. <laughs> <laughs> but it's better. Oh. <laughs> it's so cool. Oh, it's much better. It's much better now. It seriously makes the outside feel warm when you get out. Feels good. It's so salty. Oh, it's so crazy. The Norwegians that were sharing the sauna with are acting like it's no big deal. Yeah. Better or worse than the snow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> This was worse. No. A hundred percent worse. Being fully submerged. That's the coldest water I've ever been in in my life. <laughs> uh, it looks like 11. Oh man. I, I think that was so much better than the snow. The snow was so scratchy. No. Oh, oh, it's so cold. Oh, it's so cold. Oh, oh it's scratchy. Let's go. Leave the slippers behind. Leave the slippers. Okay, the snow was scratchy. Like it was more uncomfortable, but this was so much colder. That is always way more fun than I think it's gonna be. <laughs> when we first got in there, like the first five minutes were just so awkward because you're in there with a bunch of other strangers and you're all in your bathing suit. There's one changing room for everybody. And you're literally touching. Like it's a very small room. Yeah. But and nobody was talking. <laughs> By the end of it, everybody was friends. I feel like we were both kind of like about to fall asleep, but yeah. that was a good way to wake up. What's happening up here? I don't want my hair to turn into icicles before the sun goes down. <laughs> Nobody wants me to be cold. It's a good way to get my body tip back up. Such a beautiful spot to watch the sunset. We just climbed to the top of the Opera House, which is right across the water from where we're in the sauna. It's probably the most iconic building in all of Oslo, and it looks like a giant iceberg. Everything is orange and glowing. It's gorgeous. Should have put on my socks and underwear after we left the sun. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we were just gonna walk back to our hotel and then we realized the sun was gonna set if we did that. So now I'm cold. We threw on half of our clothes. We're cold in soggy. unique places. <laughs> 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 you have laughed a lot today. I'm thinking about the backpack guy again. Oh man. Yeah, I am delirious. Oh, I'm hungry now. Wow. This looks like the best food that has ever been set in front of me. Probably because all I've had to eat today is a waffle. I'm not sure if fish and chips is a thing in Norway. Pretty sure seafood's a thing in Norway, so we'll consider this a local meal. But when I was researching restaurants, everybody said like, come here for the best fish and chips. And that just sounded so good. Oh, if the fish is half as good as the french fries, it was worth it. I think this might be the best fried fish that I've ever had. Or maybe I'm just really hungry and it's just really fresh. I'm so happy right now. If you've watched many of our videos, you've probably picked up on the fact that I'm a pretty frugal person. <laughs> but I have to say, I think those fish and chips were worth $20. They were incredible. And I'm like really full now, and I'm not even <laughs> full of regret. So that's why I know they really were good. <laughs> it wasn't just my hanger. Also, I'm super proud of us. We switched time zones, slept for three hours on the plane, landed at 7 a.m. Yeah. Had no plan for the day. Ended up having an awesome day, and we didn't fall asleep or have an Aww. afternoon coffee. <laughs> also, I'm not drinking a beer. This is apparently the Norwegian version <laughs> of Coke. It's like a local drink, and it's really herby and like earthy tasting. It's better than Coke. And I love it. And I feel like it really gets that goat cheese taste out of your mouth. <laughs> yes. It's like all gone. Anything to get that taste out of my mouth. <laughs> so, when we learned that Oslo, Oslo, <laughs> Every time I think about it, I just laugh. I just wonder if he's telling that story to somebody right now. <laughs> like this woman <laughs> came up to me while <laughs> going through my bag in the middle of the night. They had started eating before I was recording. He would get really mad at me for doing this. He was supposed to try this one first. 
Oh, here we are. <laughs> Was that too awkward? <laughs> Why did you do it so slowly? I couldn't think about it in this. So I just awkwardly stuck a French fry in my mouth. <laughs> oh, wow. I can't stop eating the fries. Look at what I do my hands.